after tomorrow. Goodbye, Tom. So long, kids. Mind your mother now. Bye, bye, Slugger. Take good care of that truck now. Bye, bye. 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 Another overnight trip begins for Tom Dwyer, a truck driver. Hi, Mike. Oh, hi, Tom. What have you got for me today? You've got a hot load to Sandusky, Ohio. Tom, you're going to get your regular tractor, 3880 and 1136. Okay, I'll leave as soon as I'm loaded. So long, Mike. Have a nice trip, Tom. This big trucking terminal in Chicago is one of many where thousands of tons of freight are shipped all over the country. Big cans of paint, tables in their shipping cartons, heavy tractor tires, new automobile wheels. These and other shipments are sorted and packed into trucks bound for many different cities. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Lansing, Michigan, Toledo, Ohio. And here's Tom Dwyer's truck for Sandusky, Ohio, loaded and ready to go. The rear part of the truck is the trailer. The front part with the motor is the tractor. It's backed into place by a yard man. The yard man connects the air brake hoses from the tractor to the trailer. This gives him brake control over both sections of the truck. Then, he locks the two sections together. The front trailer supports are cranked up. They're used only for parking. Then the yard man drives the truck to the checkout station. Yard men do all the driving inside the terminal. The truck must be ready for the open road before Tom starts his driving. is pumping in 120 gallons of gasoline. Tom always stands by to keep watch on his own truck. This man weighs the trailer to make sure it's not too heavy or unbalanced. Then the trailer doors are sealed with a metal strip. Tom checks his safety equipment. Red signal flags, red flares, flag stands, spare headlight kit and a loaded fire extinguisher. Looks like everything's in good shape. Now Tom is on his way. Sandusky, Ohio, 340 miles east of Chicago. In trucking language, Tom is carrying a hot load. That is, a load that must be delivered by a certain time. He's expected to be there by 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. Much of the nation's goods are moved by truck. Tom passes many trucks on his way out of town. Long distance giants like his own. City trucks of many kinds. As he leaves Chicago, Tom crosses the state line that divides Illinois from Indiana. For part of his trip, he's going to travel on the Indiana State Toll Road. On this road, he can keep his truck moving without having to stop for cross traffic. Drivers must pay a toll to use this road. Tom will pay when he leaves. Now he receives a pass 
showing where he entered the road. Indiana State Police patrol the road. Each state has its own police force. Here's a truckload of paper leaving the toll road on its way to Chicago. And here's a truckload of new automobiles from Chicago on their way east. On the toll road, it's smooth driving for Tom, many miles without a stop. Good modern roads are a welcome sight to truck drivers. Fine highways like this one are being built in many parts of the country. Often they're called by different names. Toll roads, turnpikes, freeways, parkways, superhighways. All of them mean safe, steady driving for long distance trips. Just before sundown, Tom stops at one of the service stations on the toll road. This is called a safety stop. Truck drivers are required to make them every three hours. While Tom rests, a serviceman at the station checks his truck from bumper to bumper. Safety is very important to such drivers for their lives depend on it. The serviceman looks over Tom's engine carefully. He checks to see whether there's enough oil in the engine. He looks at the radiator to make sure there's enough antifreeze mixture in it. Service like this helps to keep the truck from breaking down on the open highway. This man finishes by pounding all 14 tires with a hammer. He can tell the air pressure just by the sound. After his rest, Tom is ready for the road again. He still has 250 miles to travel before 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. Although Tom is carrying a load that weighs about 16 tons, his truck moves fast and is easy to handle. Shortly after dark, Tom comes to the place where he's going to turn off the toll road. This is where he must pay toll for using the road. Tom must drive more slowly now. The road goes through small towns. There are traffic lights and crossroads. These cause many more stops and starts. Midnight is Tom's meal time, and at last he sees a welcome sight. This restaurant is one where truck drivers often stop. It serves good food, and there are hotel rooms where drivers on long trips can sleep. Tom sees some of his friends here. Here's one who drives for Tom's company. He says he ran into snow coming in. Tom orders his food. Tom relaxes and rests and enjoys his meal. Hot food, a cup of hot coffee, and it's soon time to be off again. These are lonely hours, the hours after midnight, when a driver wishes he were home with his family, safe, warm, and asleep.
fire out, Tom makes sure that the driver is all right. The driver explains that he must have rounded the curve too fast and went off the road. Tom offers to get some flares and shows the driver how they're lighted. He tells the driver to put them around his car and out on the road too. It's important to have plenty of warning lights when a car is parked near the highway. The driver thanks Tom, but to Tom, it's just part of his job. He'll send back help from the next town, which is only a few miles down the road. begins to snow. Tom must drive more slowly, but he's still making good time. By the time day breaks, he's almost at the end of his trip. He pulls into Sandusky right on schedule and brings his truck into the terminal. and now the big load of freight which Tom brought from Chicago. 16 tons, 32,000 pounds, will be unloaded onto the platform. separate each shipment according to where it goes in the city. Tom's all-night trip is over. He's done his job well. But the men of the trucking terminal and the city truck drivers are just beginning their day's work. Many, many things will be delivered by truck today. Painting supplies, Lumber and construction materials, bread and coffee cake for breakfast tables, ready mixed concrete for new roads, milk, cream, butter and eggs, yes and the United States mail too. The trucking industry works around the clock. Tom will sleep today in a nearby motel while his trailer is loaded for his return trip tonight. By tomorrow morning, Tom will be nearing Chicago with another 16 tons of freight. Things made in Sandusky and other Ohio towns being sold to companies in Chicago and beyond. And best of all, Tom will be driving home to his family.